In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Roblox process not found error. So if you have been struggling with this issue, first, you need to open your default browser and head over to the settings menu. From here, click on privacy and security, and then click on the security option right over here. Now make sure safe browsing is set to the no protection option. Once you're done with it, check if it fixes the issue. But if it doesn't, then you need to clear the site cache. Simply head over to the Roblox website and right click on the page right over here, and then select the inspect option from the drop down menu. From here, click on the application tab from the panel that opens. Then click on storage. After that, scroll down the panel on the right and click on the clear site data. Once you're done clearing the site data, check if it fixes the issue. But if it still doesn't, then you need to head over to the Windows Start menu and search for Control Panel. Click on the Control Panel option to open it up. From here, click on Network and Sharing Center. Once you're on this screen, you need to click on your connection, then click on Properties. And then click on Internet Protocol version 4, then click on Properties. From here, select Use the following DNS server address. In the preferred DNS server, type in 8888. In the alternate DNS server, type in 8844, and then click on OK. Also, make sure IPv6 option is disabled. Then click OK to save the changes. After that, run command prompt as an administrator. Then paste these codes in the command prompt window step by step from the video description below. After completing this process, you can restart your computer system and check if the problem persists. In case if the problem still persists, then you need to first hold down the Windows key plus R on your keyboard. It'll then instantly open up a dialog box. Simply type in percent local app data percent in this dialog box. A file explorer window will open up. And then from here, head over to the temp folder. Then over here in the temp folder, head over to the Roblox folder and then delete the Roblox folder. After deleting the folder, head over to the Roblox website and then click on any game. From here, click on this play button, then click on cancel on this pop-up. Then click on download and install Roblox. Once you're done downloading the file, install the Roblox game onto your system. Once you're done installing Roblox, check if it fixes the issue. But if it doesn't, then try installing it from the Microsoft Store. Simply head over to the Microsoft Store and then search for Roblox in the search bar at the top. Once you're on this screen, you need to click on the install button to install it onto your system. Once you're done installing Roblox, check if it fixes the issue. But if it doesn't, then you need to search for settings in the search bar at the bottom, and then click on the settings option right over here to open up the settings panel. From here, click on apps, then click on installed apps. And then scroll all the way down to the bottom until you find Roblox. Now click on this three-dot icon right next to Roblox and select Advanced Options from the drop-down menu. Once you're on this screen, you need to scroll down to the Reset section, and over here, you need to first click on this Repair button, and then go back and launch the game to check if it fixes the issue. In case if the issue still persists, you need to head back to this page again and click on Reset. And then after resetting the game, you need to open up the Microsoft Store on your system, and then search for Roblox. Once you're on this page, you'll see an update button instead of this play button right over here. Click on that update button to make sure you're running the latest version of the Roblox game. Once you're done updating the game, check if it fixes the issue. But in case if it doesn't, then you need to again head back to the settings page. From here, click on apps, then click on installed apps. And then scroll all the way down to the bottom until you find Roblox. Now click on this three-dot icon right next to Roblox and select Advanced Options from the drop-down menu. Once you're on this screen, you need to make sure that this Power Optimization option is set to Always. Check if it fixes the Roblox error. But if it doesn't, then you need to open up this webpage on your web browser and check Roblox server status. Sometimes it can happen due to server issues. In case you find a temporary outage, wait for some time and try again later. But if you experience no outage here and still encounter this issue, then you need to clear your browser cache. For instance on Chrome, 
you simply need to hold down Control, Shift, and Delete key on your keyboard. A pop-up window will open up. Simply select all time in the box next to time range. Then check mark these boxes and tap on clear data. Once you're done with it, relaunch your browser and check if it fixes the Roblox error. But if it doesn't, then make sure you're connected to a strong internet connection. Navigate to google.com on your browser and then search for speed test. Here on this page, you need to tap on run speed test. The minimum speed required for Roblox is usually 2 to 3 Mbps, so if it's anywhere near or above this number, that's fast enough. If your internet speed appears to be unreasonably low, then you may need to contact your internet service provider for help. Hopefully, this will fix the issue. But if it still doesn't work, then you need to reboot your system. Chances are, a simple reboot might just do the trick. First, close all the programs running on your system, and then click on the Windows key on your keyboard. Then over here, click on Power, and then from the drop-down menu click on Restart. Hopefully, this will fix the issue. Well, that's how you fix Roblox process not found error. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up to see more videos like this, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one.